Hi guys, it's Barnaby Slater here, spurred on, and at last it has happened. The season is upon us. No more just having to watch cricket, having to watch athletics, all those sports that you don't quite give as much of a about as football. And this Saturday we go to Old Trafford for the start of the Premier League season. And I'm going to give you a little preview of how I think we're going to do this season and what we need to see and what we like and what we want. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start by talking about our new signings. We're talking about Toby Alderweireld. Now, I've been watching all the preseason games. I was in Munich for the Madrid game and then the AC Milan game. Alderweireld played in the Madrid game and he was one of our shining lights in an otherwise relatively insipid performance. He looks the real deal, Toby Alderweireld. His partnership with Jan will be absolutely like the fulcrum of how well we can do this, this season. If we do well, it'll be because of them and Hugo behind them. I genuinely believe that. So he's been a terrific signing and I think only around 10 and a half, 11 million pounds. Amazing work from Daniel Levy. Deli Ali, I want to talk about. We've talked about him a lot. A great signing. Obviously, we got him in January and he was loaned back, but he will be excellent for us this season. I'm sure of it. Even if he doesn't you know, play every single game because he's a bit too raw, I really think he is our great next big player along the lines of your Modric's and your Bales, those players who increase in value all the time. And of course, don't forget Christian Eriksen. And Kieran Trippier, he's the one we've talked about as well. Him or Walker, him or Walker. At the moment, I think he is pushing Walker onto greater things and it's been another brilliant signing for us, just like Ben Davis was last summer uh, that helped Danny Rose go on. So they're the signings that we've made that I think are going to make a real difference. Let's talk a little bit about how this season is going to give us another chance to blood some, uh, some academy graduates. We're looking at Josh Anoma. He's had a good preseason. He's looked really, really classy. Still raw, but I think he'll get some games, certainly in the Europa, certainly in the, uh, in the Carling Cup this season. Is that what it's called? The League Cup? I can't remember. It's probably got a new sponsor. The Capital One Cup, maybe. Um, Harry Winks has played a lot of games in preseason. He looks class in a glass on the ball, Harry Winks. Hopefully he can fill out a bit more because him and Tom Carroll, both of them, not big enough for the Premier League. You do need to be big. Obviously, people say, oh, Xavi wasn't very big, but Xavi didn't play in the Premier League. You need the strength for the hustle and bustle. So hopefully Harry Winks will put on a bit more weight over the next coming years or so and he could become a first teamer. Uh, I think he'll get Europa League games uh, and uh, Capital One Cup games as well. And then I'm going to say Luke McGee, who played in that AC Milan game. He's the goalkeeper. He had great hands. He looked really good. Uh, he, could, he could become our, our third choice goalkeeper uh, this season, taking over from Sir Brad of Friedel. So look out for him in those League Cup games as well uh, and the, and the uh, Europa League. So, on to my prediction for the season. Look guys, I'm a realist. I'm a Spurs fan through and through, but I'm a realist. Top four is going to be very difficult for us, very difficult. All four of those clubs have made big signings and improved themselves. In fact, the one that I don't think has made too many huge signings is Man City and they're you know, they've got Sterling, that was a big deal, but the rest of them they've kind of just bought, uh, sorry, the rest of Man City, they've just kind of bought young talent. Um, Liverpool have bought big, so they're going to be fighting back again to come above us for only, I think, like the second or third time in the last eight years. Uh, Everton will have a better season, Southampton will have a better season, so we'll all be vying to try and push the fourth place team, but it's so hard to look above Woolwich, uh, Chelsea, Man City and Man United for those top four places. So. Let's, you know, let's be realistic. Fifth would be brilliant. Sixth, fifth and sixth, it would be fine. You know, let's try and win a cup as well. We got to the League Cup final last year under Pochettino in his first year. Let's try and win a trophy. Let's have a real go at the Europa League this season because you get that Champions League spot. Sevilla won it in Spain. They weren't in the Champions League. They're now in the Champions League because of that. We've got to go for that. That's a massive opportunity for us. I genuinely believe it. Uh, so... Who is going to win the, the Premier League? We're not going to spend too much time on this because it's not to do with Spurs, but I think, it's hard for me to say, but I think it's hard to see Chelsea not winning it. Mourinho's the best manager around, apart from Poch, obviously, apart from Mopo, uh, but Mourinho will find a way to win it again. I don't think Man City have done enough. I don't think United have done enough to, to take them off their perch, and uh, Woolwich certainly won't win it. Okay, so last but by no means least, who should we buy before deadline day in a couple of weeks? Well, we need a striker. Uh, Bobby and Ade surely are going to leave. Uh, Ade Bayor now saying he wants to live in London to play for Aston Villa. You know, the arrogance of the man is unbelievable. He's got to go. Bobby, we'd love, him to uh, we'd love him to stay and score goals, but his confidence is shot. Uh, so Villarreal, it's looking like for him. So we need strikers. I think on the last week of the deadline, we will be going strong for Berahino. And if we don't get him, maybe Charlie Austin. I think Charlie Austin would be all right. He's a similar kind of you know, big builds like Harry Kane, he can hold it up. I wouldn't be disappointed with that. He'd push Kane a lot. 
I'd be happy with Berahino as well. Will we need to look for a goalkeeper? De Gea is not playing for United on the opening day of the season, so it's all going off there. Will they go in for Hugo Lloris? If they do, Daniel Levy, of course, will insist on about 40 million. I'm sure of that. 40 million is a lot for a goalkeeper. So we'll need to buy a goalkeeper. I'm not really sure who we'll go for. Let me know in the comment section below who you think we would like to, we should go for as a goalkeeper if we leave Hugo. I'm kind of unwilling to talk about it too much because I just don't want Hugo to leave. Apart from that, maybe a centre midfielder, but I do wonder whether Dele Alli's performances in pre-season have made Mopo think, maybe we don't need another one. But there's been talk of Lars Bender, that would be a good signing. Everyone's saying that he's a really good player. Uh, James McCarthy, who we were interested in, has just signed a new long-term deal for Everton, so it won't be him. Again, let us know in the comments section about all of my, my preview. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Who should we sign? Where will we come in the, se in the league this season? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube if you want to watch lots more Spurs fan video content every single day we'll be trying to release stuff for you and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and Facebook at Spurred on TV as well and Periscope and Mirka we're on all of them guys so make sure you follow it and well done for getting through this tough summer and getting all the way to the first game of the season come on you Spurs give us an idea of some of our players uh, that you would worry about tomorrow I'm a huge fan of Christian Eriksen um, mm -hmm. I have been since his time at Ajax 